Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here on Horizon. I'm Rob McClendon. Well, it'll be four years this May since the largest tornado ever recorded cut a path just west of El Reno. Four storm chasers caught off guard by the storm's immense size lost their lives that day. And the town's career tech, well, it took a direct hit. But despite the damage, school went on. Today, we begin with the long road to recovery for a Canadian Valley Technology Center. May 31st, 2013 is a day that's gone down in weather history. A killer tornado two miles wide with winds over 300 miles an hour. It was unreal, unbelievable. The Canadian Valley Tech Center in El Reno destroyed. High-tech equipment strewn around like garbage. My first reaction was, is, you know, what a shame. You know, it's been such a great school for, for 40 some odd years, 42, 43 years, and then in just a matter of, of less than a minute, uh, you got a lot of history and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears is just, just basically wiped out. Uh, just that quick. I mean, it, it's just going to shock, to be real honest about it. It's probably the only way you can survive stuff like that is your body and your brain just kind of takes over. And, and, uh, but the, it was tough. I'll tell you, really, really tough. But not insurmountable. You know, we had a responsibility to have school on August 15th, and, and we started school on August 15th. Greg Winters is the superintendent of the Canadian Valley Career Tech District and says what his staff did over the next 75 days was nothing short of remarkable. Picking up the pieces of what could be saved and moving them to a new temporary location. This was the old car dealership showroom. Um, currently, it is a math classroom over in that corner. We put walls up here to make uh, the cosmetology classroom and to make another additional math classroom over there um, so that we have space for all our classes. And we still don't have enough rooms. But turning a once closed business into a technology center in just 75 days was neither cheap nor easy. When we came into this building, we had to, we had to run uh, 1,200 amps of uh, brand new 483 phase electricity. There were 600 amps in the building. We needed 1,800 amps. Uh, we had to run uh, 18,000 linear feet of Cat 6 cable to hook up 400 computers. Uh, you know, we had to, you know, grab the fiber optics from the Bank of Oklahoma location across the street. That's a Cox connection. It's high-speed internet, which is vital. For which is vital. I mean, you just have to have it, and and uh, and so we, we, there was a, a lot of things that went our way. Uh, we had a lot of great people that just did an incredible job. I mean, they really did, you know. And you know, you've got a really good staff, but then you put them in a situation that we were put in, and it uh, makes you kind of proud to be the superintendent of Canadian Valley, quite frankly. And with classes underway in every nook and cranny of their temporary campus in Yukon, the cleanup in El Reno, well, it turned into a campus rebuild that led to this. <laughs> Governor Spallin spoke to those gathered, many key players in keeping this school open throughout the hardships. Well, the rebuilding of Canadian Valley Technology Center fits in all that's great about Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Center, the Oklahoma Strong. Anytime we face adversity, we see the community come together, the people come together, we pull, we get the job done, and we make good things happen. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It took, um, it, it took a lot of hard work on a lot of people's parts, a lot of determination. Just being vested in what our mission is um, and the fact that Education empowers people, and knowing that and believing in that, um, it, it just allowed us to accomplish what we needed to accomplish. Now later this spring, we'll bring you a full documentary on Canadian Valley's Road to Recovery, but when we return, I have their superintendent give me a look around. 